Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I have my Ipsy to share with you guys. I know this is going to be a little bit of an extreme unboxing, kind of, sort of, not really. So basically what I have is a November's box to review with you guys. And then I have two boxes here and I'm not exactly sure what months these are. So we're just going to open these and unbox these. I'm pretty sure this is the Ipsy Deluxe and this is the plus one. I'm not sure what they're called either. So I am like failing today. So I do apologize, but we're going to open these anyway, regardless if I know what they're called or what's in them. So let's talk about, first of all, what was in the November box. See the November box, I have all the products here on this little paper. So I can tell you the value for them, whether I feel like we got the value for the box and whether or not I feel like these were good products. So the first one is from Gigi Gorgeous. This is the Gigi Gorgeous. This is called the Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo. This is called Turnt and Extra. So you get two different shades in here. Tell me if this does not give you guys Too Faced vibes. I don't know what it is. I think it's the gold rim package. I think the split pan. It reminds me a lot of Too Faced for some reason. Either way, I feel like this is a, actually a really good contour bronzer. I would say more bronze than contour. I love bronzing out my skin, especially during the winter months because I'm very, very pale right now. So I try to make myself look like I have a nice tan, even though I haven't seen the sun in a very long time. So either way, I think this is a really cool duo. I am enjoying it. This feels like it's moving. I thought, okay, never mind. I thought this was going to open or something like the, what is it, Physician's Formula where there's a piece under the bottom, but it's not. But either way, I feel like this was really good. I was very happy to get this and try it out. This was $24. So I think it's definitely worth the $24. I'm not sure where you can purchase Gigi Gorgeous products from, but if you guys know, let me know. The only thing I don't love about her packaging is that it is white and white tends to like get really dirty very quickly. Though mine's not gotten dirty so far. So maybe I'll get lucky. It won't get too dirty. The next thing is from Nomad. This is the Nomads and Berlin Underground, Undergrunds. What is that called? Berlin Underground Intense Eyeshadow Palette. This is $37. It says it's inspired, inspired by the Berlin's rebellious 90s counterculture. So it's a 15 shade palette. <clears throat> you do get some really nice shades in here. These shadows remind me a lot of, oh my gosh, I cannot think of the brand. Oh, darn. Chrisanna Ann. I think it's Chrisanna Ann Cosmetics. These remind me a lot of her palettes and I think they're good. Do I think they're the greatest? No, not in my opinion. These shadows are mostly a lot of like satin shimmer type shades. There's not a whole lot of mattes in here, which I prefer to have more mattes than the other type of shadows. So for me, this is not something that I could use by itself. And it's such a big palette. You would think they would have thought that through and put more mattes in here than so many other different textures. So for me, I would say this is okay. I don't think this is anything that I personally would have purchased. If I would have seen it in a store, I would have been like, yeah, I want that for sure. I wouldn't have gotten it. The next thing is from, oh, this was an, an add-on because I did do an add-on. This is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. So here's what it looks like. You do get a cream color. I'm not huge on cream anything except for cream blushes. I do kind of like cream, cream blushes, but cream contours and cream highlighters, not my favorite. But you do get a hot, like a more like a shimmery blush, a shimmery bronze, and then a highlighter in here. I think it's an okay palette. Do I think it's one that I personally would have purchased now after seeing this in person? No. I would not purchase this again. I think it's okay for what it is. It's not my favorite. It's not a fail. It's just not my favorite because I don't love a whole lot of shimmer. I don't want to look like Edward Cullen's every time I go outside, I have a lot of sparkle and glimmer onto my skin. I'd rather look a little bit more matte and then have the shimmer where I want it to be. The next thing is from Douce. So I re reviewed this on my Ipsy, uh, Ipsy BoxyCharm as well because I thought for sure this was a BoxyCharm item. So here's the box to it. This is... Oh, wait, by the way, what did I, oh, yeah, that Huda palette was an add-on. So this is $24 for this eyeshadow. I do not like this eyeshadow whatsoever, and I'll show you exactly why, or not eyeshadow, mascara, because look at the wand. The wand to this is ginormous. Like, it is almost as big as my eyeball. Like, I'm not sure how you would even use this. I'm like, is this supposed to be for your hair, like, to color your grays in? Because this is way too big for your lashes, in my opinion. I don't like a wand that big. Not something I personally would recommend or purchase because it's just too big and cumbersome to work with. And for $24, there's way better mascaras on the lawn, so would not purchase that and wouldn't recommend it. 
The next thing is from Apto. This is the pomegranate mask. So it says it's for all skin types. To be honest with you guys, I have not tried this. I honestly forgot about it because we just had a lot of chaos going on. So I will be trying this out. So I'm going to stick it into my box to try out for this coming month when I have all these other products to try out. So I will try it out and I'll let you guys know or if, I, if you guys want me to try it out with you, I can do that as well. Um, this is supposed to be $36. The only thing I'm confused by is mine's yellow and on the paper here it shows it as pink. And I'm wondering, I'm like, is mine any good? I hope so. The last thing is from Ciate. So this is the Ciate Dewy Sticks. It's a luminous highlighting balm. I don't like this at all. It doesn't hardly do anything for your skin whatsoever unless you're saying, hey, you want to put chapstick all over your face? That's basically what it looks like. It looks like you put chapstick on your skin. I don't love it for my face whatsoever. For my hands, it's nice. For my tattoo, it's nice. For my face, it's not nice. I don't like this whatsoever. So for me, I would not purchase that. And it was quite pricey as well. This was $26. So for me, I would say it's definitely not something I would recommend or purchase or anything like that, to be honest. So the only good things in my box this past month um, was this. Basically, this is the best thing out of the box is the bronzer duo. That's it. Other than that, I just felt like the box was kind of meh. So I was not very happy with anything in there, but that's okay. That's why sometimes boxes are really great. Sometimes boxes are not so great. So we'll have to see what comes in these other two boxes. Let's see how good these are. Hopefully they can do a better job at uh, making us happy. Oh my gosh, I can't find my cutter. Here it is. All right, so we're gonna handy dandy cutter this open. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so klutzy. I could have just like cut my shirt right off. That'd have been wonderful. So I think this is like the smaller box. I'm not sure like if it's called the deluxe or what it's called, but either way, we're just gonna get into it. So, whoa, this is not that. This is actually an order that I placed. So, well, that was a fail. I thought it was another box that I was getting, but this is an order that I placed with BoxyCharm. So if you're, or not BoxyCharm, but Ipsy. If you're not familiar, you can purchase items off of their site onto their Ipsy offers. So I purchased some of their Color Club nail polishes because they were like $15, I think, or something like that. It was very affordable. And then you got five or six, I think it's six, six polishes. And these are quite pricey if you purchase them alone. So I'll show you the colors in here since we're already talking about it. So we have this red shade right here, which is called Ready or Not. And it's spelled R-E-D-D-Y, Ready or Not. So that's pretty. Ready or Not reminds me of, for some reason, Taylor Swift. And then we have this one here, which is called French Tip. So it's just a white shade. And then we have this one here, which is... A blue shade and it's called meet me at the rink that looks like a really pretty snow color so that would be a beautiful snow flake color for your nails actually that looks like a really pretty combination the red white and the blue then we have this one here which is called feathered hair out there <laughs> what feathered hair out there Ooh, that's a pretty pink that's a really pretty pink it's like a, not really a baby pink I'm not sure what you would describe that pink as but it's a really pretty color then we have this one here, which is the Color Club in Glow Get em. So this one's got like a lot of sparkles to it. It's like very iridescent, very pretty. And then the last one here is, ooh, another iridescent. It's an iridescent pink. So the other one was like an iridescent blue. And this one's an iridescent pink. So this one's called Light the Way. So these will look really pretty together, actually. So hmm, I'm excited. I'm going to paint my nails. Sorry for uh, making that boo-boo of a mistake. I probably should have opened the box to see what was in here instead of just assuming it was another subscription service. <laughs> so this is the big one. So we're on to here. So let's cut her open. Oops. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, I do see some add-ons. I did add on a few things on my box because they had some tart blushes and I think they were like $3. These are like the little mini ones. So if you're like me, how often do you actually go through a full-size blush? Not very often. So I got Shimmer and Shake. So here's Shimmer and Shake. That's a really pretty color. And then we have, let's see, I must have that over here. And we have this one here, which is Kisses. Kisses is really pretty. I like this color. It's like a beautiful pink shade. It looks like a spring color. So there's Kisses. And then we have Party Dress. Ooh, I should have worn this for New Year's Eve. It's probably not as fancy as I'm thinking it's gonna be though. Okay, so here it is. There's what it looks like. So this must be this, just the December box. So we're getting to the December box. So we did the November and December box. So now we're not so confused. All right, so the box is actually down inside of here. All right, so we had a box and a box. Now I lost the cutter again. Oh my gosh, I am a train wreck. 
All right, here we go. So it says to you from you. Okay, thanks, you. Discover yourself. All right, so let's see what kind of goodies we have in here. We have our little pamphlet that's gonna tell us the values of each item. So the first thing I see on top is called the complex culture. It's called where it says, we designed this brush to make your life easier. Press and set bronzer. What? What in the world is this? I'm about to put the cutter open the wrong way. I was about to cut my own fingers off. This would be lovely. I would not make a really good YouTube video. Oh, wow. This is a really beautiful luxe brush. Oh my gosh, complex culture. This is very heavy duty. Like the handle, the ferrule to it is really, really nice. The actual brush like hairs are super, super soft. Oh my gosh, like I can imagine this all over my skin. Like, I just got makeup all over. It needs to get a bath anyway. You should probably always wash your makeup brushes before you use them because it's just smart. The next thing in here is from Tarte. This is called the, whoops, I should probably tell you how much the brush is. <laughs> That'd be smart. So it's Complex Culture Press and Set Bronzer br Brush is $35. So that's pretty expensive for one brush, but it feels very luxe. It feels very heavy and very well made. So I'm excited about that. Then we have the Tarte Stay Spray. So it's a setting spray from Tarte. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on right now because I don't think I even used a setting spray today. Let's see what we got here. Show me what you got. Show me what you got, little mama. Oh my gosh, it smells nice. It smells like watermelony. Yeah, it's got a watermelony scent. Um, this is $25. It says it's got aloe and cucumber. So I'm assuming that's probably why I'm thinking watermelon because cucumber, in my opinion, smells a little bit like watermelon. I got a barking alert. My dogs are barking on my fur bow. The next thing is from Evolve. It's a super oil. Hmm. So the Tarte was $25. The Evolve oil is $68. What? It says instant moisture without heaviness. This plant-based squalene oil goes on like a serum. It soaks in instantly and doesn't leave behind any greasy residue. Apply two or three drops for skin that's radiant, supple, and super glowy. $68. And this is, I mean, I don't even see a size on here. Oh, it says one ounce. It feels a lot less than one ounce. I'm going to put some on my hand over here. My hand is extremely dry, so we'll see what happens. Probably shouldn't waste like really expensive skincare, but my hand can use it, right? Oh, gosh, it's hard to pump. <gasps> oh, man. I just shot it all over my pants. It doesn't look good. Okay. Oh, it smells terrible. It smells like burnt tires. Ugh. Ah, that does not smell good whatsoever. So if you're hoping it smells good, it does not. It smells, it smells like burnt rubber. Okay, then the next thing we have is two lip products. It looks like two chapsticks. These are by the brand Noya. So they say not for sale. So these aren't actually even at valued. So I'm not sure how they're valuing these because it says $7.98 for a set of two, but they actually say not for sale. So you can tell these are samples. Oopsie. Five ingredients, that's it. This balm leaves your lips soft and supple with 100% certified beeswax and organic coconut oil and essential oils. A hint of stevia helps indulge your sweet tooth and protect your lips from the winter chap. How does stevia help protect your lips? Not sure. The last thing in here is the Itzy palette. So this is a brand I think that I'm pretty sure that like was a YouTuber brand. They were working with YouTubers to create different palettes and everything, but I'm not positive. So here's what the Itzy palette looks like. And you open the inside and you get four shadows. So here's your four shadows here. You get, these are, you should be able to pop these out too, I think. Yeah, you can pop these out. So you can leave that in there or you can pop them out. So it's like a magnetic little palette. I like the design of this palette. That's pretty cool. So let's see what it says about this. The ultimate winter eyeshadow quad, this versatile combo of matte and shimmery shades, flawless mix and match for everyday looks and party ready smoky eyes. And the powder soft buttery texture blends as just as easily as cream, $60. I don't think so. So either way, I mean, I'll be honest with you, this one was really not that great. The only thing in here that's great, in my opinion, is the brush and then the Tarte setting spray so far. But I mean, I haven't tried everything out, so that could change. But so far, I'm not that impressed. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest, because this was like, I think my $50 box. Glam Bag Plus, yes. It's a $50 box and I am not impressed. I'm canceling my Glam Bag Plus for sure because this is just disappointing. Like, what? 
give us some good stuff. This is like, no, no. And they gave us a bag too, by the way. There's a, there's a bag in here. Very, looks like aluminum foil, like crushed up. So the bag I'm not impressed with either. The bag is kind of ugly in my opinion. So just not very impressed. You have to let me know what you think of the box. You think it's worth $50. I'm not impressed. I'm thinking like for 50 bucks, you can buy some pretty cool stuff. And the only thing in here that I find that's really cool is the setting spray and the brush. Other than that, I'm not that impressed. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.